Hello. In this video, we will talk about Amazon CloudWatch best practice alarm recommendations. This feature provides out of the box alarm recommendations for metrics that are published by other AWS services. AWS services have hundreds of vendor metrics, so you might be wondering which ones should I alarm on? What alarm configuration should I have? Or what do these metrics even mean? CloudWatch now offers best practice alarm recommendations, which allow you to quickly set up essential monitoring for your AWS services. You can also see metrics descriptions of supported AWS services and dashboards across the AWS console, wherever the metrics appear. So let's take a look in the console. Okay, I am now in my Amazon CloudWatch console on the All Metrics page. And as you can see, I already have quite a few metrics here. But if I select this Alarm Recommendations toggle, I can now see the metrics for which I have Alarm Recommendations. So imagine I'm new to DynamoDB and I want to learn more about recommended alarms. I'm going to select Table Operations Metrics. From here, I can select this Information button which gives me further information on the meaning of this metric. I also have this alarms column, and this tells me if I already have an alarm configured for a specific metric. And I can also choose from this alarm recommendations column to view the details of the recommended alarm. So as you can see, this one will help me detect if there's a high latency on the DynamoDB table operation that I choose. Now from here, I can select to view the alarm source. And this takes me to the page that gives me a CloudFormation template in the JSON format to download this alarm or in the YAML format or I can have the AWS CLI command that I would run to create this recommended alarm or the Terraform code. And from here, I can copy this code or download it or even edit it. But I'm gonna uh, select cancel. I can also create this single alarm from here by selecting create alarm. This will take me to the CloudWatch alarm page and we'll pre-populate some of the information here for me to create this alarm. If I go back, what else I can do? If I wanted to download the code for multiple alarms or all of those alarms, I can select as many as I want and choose to download this code directly from here. Alarm recommendations are also available in other consoles in the AWS console. So here I have a Lambda function open. If I head over to the monitor tab, I can see all of the metrics that I have for this Lambda function. But again, if I select the alarm recommendations toggle, that will show me the metrics for which I have alarm recommendations. Again, I can select the information button to read more about this metric. But what else I can do is by, by hovering my mouse over the data point, I can actually select to create the recommended alarm or any other alarm from here. So like I mentioned, you will see recommended alarms for metrics that you already have in your console. But if you want to read more about the recommended alarms for which alarm recommendations are available, I will include the link to this page where you can read more. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.